The next rudiment we're going to look at is the final of the three most important basic rudiments. It's the flam. The flam is a distinctive click sound. As opposed to the word tick, it's the word click. There's two beats that are almost hit simultaneously. Here you see a grace note followed by the main note. The grace note has no time value in music, but for this, for this demonstration, let's just go through the rudiment itself for the most part. A flam is a left-right beat, then a right-left beat, and a left-right beat, right-left beat, and so forth. Now the flam, when you begin the flam rudiment, of course, we'll start in the usual position, position of opening and closing. We'll start with the right stick as high as your eyes, straight up. The left stick will be right near the pad and it'll be two inches or lower. The left stick should always be two inches or lower near the, near the pad. That, that's the whole main thing of the flam rudiment is to keep the lower tap down. In most instances, the flam doesn't have a distinctive click sound because the lower tap isn't kept down before you strike it. So what you do is you hit that lower tap and almost instantly at the same time you bring down the right which of course is the more dominant beat in this case I call it a right flame because the right's the more dominant you hit a lower left tap you bring that right beat almost almost simultaneous, simultaneously hitting that right stick okay so let me try a few examples for you lower tap is down and here's your higher tap as high as your eyes to begin nice click sound okay that's the flame rudiment and you ought to try that a few times just to get used to it before we try to open and close it. Okay, so now this is incorrect. Let me play a couple incorrect beats. That's too open. And this is much too closed. Okay, it's hitting both at the same time. That's not a flam, okay? It's a click sound. If you can play it distinctly correct as a click, you can play it in any way. All right, well, one more time. It's a right flam and a left flam. Okay, <clears throat> let's try that open and close for you. Again, we'll start in the same basic positions as you always have, except the lower tap is down. Here we go. As you speed up, your higher tap will get lower and lower and lower, but your lower tap is always two inches or lower near the pad. The lower tap is always lower than the dominant beat. the main trick in this rudiment. Keep the lower tap down. Of course, the most important thing in drumming, as in anything, is to relax. If you're real tight, you're going to waste a lot of energy and you won't have as much control on what you're doing. Another thing to keep in mind is when you're playing the flam rudiment, after the higher tap hits, you might want to squeeze it just for an instant, okay? Squeeze it for an instant so it'll stay down to that low position so you'll be in the proper place to play that next flam. So I play a flam, I squeeze the left stick an instant, relax, so it stays down. Now I squeeze the right stick for an instant so it stays down. Again, as your other rudiments, don't play any faster than you can play well. Just play as fast as you can without spoiling it. Speed will come naturally. Now to play this rudiment fast, after your opening and closing is pretty good, you can in addition practice it also fast. Here's the position for playing a flam fast. Right stick is about oh six to eight inches. Left stick again, lower tap is two inches or lower. For the left flam, left stick are six to eight inches. The right is two inches or lower. Let me play some flams for you just at a fast speed, relatively speaking. Now some common errors for flams, again, is raising that lower tap and getting a flopping kind of beat or hitting them at the same time. Those are incorrect or swaying. See, so keep that playing position as you've already seen before. Nice, clean, click sound. So just to repeat slightly, you've got the three most important rudiments that exist. The single stroke roll, the long roll, and now the flams. Please be sure not to go any further than this point until you've got those three down very well because everything you ever do 
from this point on is going to be one of those three rudiments. It's very critical, critical to get up to this point, everything up to this point very well. So now we're ready to get uh, moving along a little bit more.